What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert and we're back on the Sorceress starting up, not a new series, but like a new little segment. I guess it's a series. We can call it a series. Uh, this is just going to be my grind to max. We're going to be doing different stuff at different areas around the map and having some good fun. Uh, we're going to be starting out at Bashim's base here. We've done this before. Um, it's, you know, uh, this is something I wish more people would do in their videos when I watch them. So, Bashim's base, if you did not know, is right here. And if you zoom out, it's like, here's Altanova. You take a nice little hop, skip, and a jump over the river. Technically, you're going to go up this way and around. And then, for some reason, it makes you go all the way around here. Then it cuts down, and then it comes here. Um, there is a pathway here, but for some reason, it doesn't take this pathway. I don't know why when you auto path it doesn't take you down here and by the water and around, but it doesn't. So yeah, that's how you get here. So let's go ahead. We're just going to be doing a half hour to 35, 40 minutes here. Uh, we do have this box. I'm going to claim it. We're going to open it up to start this episode. I've had really bad luck on my sorceress. Eh, okay. Um, had much better luck on my ninja. All right. An ancient weapon core. I actually have the ancient weapon core. Pry. Can I just go ahead and make the very poor decision to try to upgrade this right now? Um, let's see what I have an advice. Let's do an advice of the Valks 15. I'm not excited to see 25% chance. Okay. Safe enhance. I don't have an oh I don't have enough crone stones on me. Okay, you know what, actually we're gonna wait because I have a bunch of crone stones back in storage, so I will wait on that. But let's get into what this episode is truly about, and that's about farming Bashim's base. We're looking for an Asula's Crimson Eye Weakened Ring. Uh, that's what we're doing here. And if you remember when I farmed this like a month ago, um. I don't know how many of you watched that video, but when I farmed this like a month ago on this character, yeah, my character could not handle this at all. So, yeah, we're, 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 we're already doing better because I don't get like my absolutely destroyed. Alright, so let's pop all of this stuff. Let's drop, let's pop that. I don't really think there's anything skill XP wise that I'm going to get from this, but yeah, wh whatever, let's pop it. Because why not? All right, so let's let's get let's get to work. So how much experience does one of these dudes give me? Like ten percent of like, it gives me like ten percent of a per of a tenth of a percent. <laughs> it gives me like a one hundredth of a percent, which is fine. I don't expect this to go quickly. We're mostly just looking for stuff to upgrade my gear. Um, Level is a little bit less important to me. I just don't think I... It, it's not that big of a deal right now. Like, my character level. I just need to get my gear up. Before... I want to try to do the main story again, but... Once I kill these guys, I'll go over in just a second. I think I want, like... 200, 240 or something like that before I try... Let me put my shield on. I always forget to put that on. I think if I got to that point, I would be good. If I could get to 200, 240. That's a lot to ask for because I'm not making massive improvements anymore. There are some massive improvements if I can get to try armor. But other than that, there isn't a whole lot of massive improvements to get into. Should probably use my sight a little bit here. Um, just there just isn't there's not a lot of massive improvements I, I can't get like the crazy weapons yet like I have try weapons so it's not like my weapons are just some absolute dookie but they're not like great and I guess I still take a decent amount of damage here but it's a lot better than before like before I had to like sit here and like continually spam heal because I was just a little bit under leveled Okay, game, what are you doing? There we go. It wasn't letting me do my forward spin. Okay, if they're just gonna keep coming down into the pit with me, that would be great. Look, 
I've been in this pit long enough with them running in here that they're starting to respawn in the pit with me. Kill you. The rotation here is really easy, except for the fact that they just keep respawning in here with me, so it's like, hey, I'll just stay in here and kill them. Clean them all up. But yeah, the different things that I'm going to do with this series, um, I'll have episodes like this where we just do a flat half hour farm or a flat hour farm, and just I'll just show it all. And then I'll have other ones where I uh, do multi-hours in areas and you only see a little bit of updates here and there and then I'll show you the, the uh, rotation that I was doing and um, what I got as rewards from it. That's pretty much that's pretty much how that'll go I think. Sometimes I come over here it's it's all right. It's not the greatest rotational spot. Because then you're backtracking, but it's alright. There's a fair amount of enemies over here, so I don't really have a problem with coming over here. There's enough enemies that it's perfectly fine. Every time I see an item pop up there at the top, I always think it's going to be what I was looking for. Because obviously, I think when I get the Asula's Crimson Eye Weakened ring or, ring or whatever, I think it shows up up top of the screen. Okay, so no plus yet, or no plus items yet. Always looking for like try trying to get lucky with a plus fifteen item or something like that. Hello everybody, let's jump down here. I gotta get I've been playing so much ninja I'm not used to my rotation on sorceress. I did, I did the switch too early. I'm not used to the rotation. I will be slightly happy when I finish up Ninja so that I can come back to my Sorceress and grind Sorceress. Because I really do want to get her to a usable state where she's like significantly good enough to farm most areas and her gear is pretty much maxed. How am I already at 100%? I am already at 100 How? What is so heavy? What do I have that's so heavy? I'm not quite there yet, but I'm gonna get there. Let me pop those. Let me just get just get rid of any weight whatsoever as possible. Okay, there we go. As, as long as I keep using my healing items, I will lose weight because those things are heavy. I wish they weren't as heavy as they were, but then I guess it would be, it wouldn't be as much of a decision. You would just carry five bajillion healing potions on you and that would be it. So I get the decision to like have them be weighted, but man, it's annoying. Because my inventory is two thirds filled up with healing and po different potions. Okay, I killed enough of you. Oh my gosh. Killed enough of you in here. Let's go. It kind of depends on whatever you want to do. You can go up there. It's just this area right here. This is the best area. And the mob density is not bad here. And the respawn, ra the respawn rate is what's good. They respawn really quickly. I've never done a rotation and not had stuff respawned yet. So, it's really nice for that. This over here is kind of optional. There's like seven guys over here. It's kind of worth it. It's not crazily worth it, but it's not terrible. And we're overweight. Okay, hold on. All right, enemies, can I just have a second? Okay, what can I, what is heavy? Pop one of those each. Like, none of this is heavy. I guess the cheap feed is kind of heavy. Oh, these are kind of heavy. I mean, I kind of need them to make any sort of profit off of this, but... Man, they're kind of heavy. I 
they really 2.5 pounds a piece? Okay, we're gonna delete like 20 of these each. I'm gonna delete like 25 more of these because I don't think I. They're not that expensive. I mean, like they they're kind of expensive, but they're not really. See, look, I took like five seconds there, and these guys already respawned. It's really the the mob spawns are like so good. They respawn really quick. It just makes for a nice, easy experience here. I'm actually going to check real quick after we finish this guy off. Should probably kill this dude. We're gonna check out my skills real quick. Okay, because I haven't checked here in a while. Okay, we only have 34. I don't actually have as much as I thought I would have. Uh, Grim Reaper's Judge. Really? Who just hit me? Okay. Grim Reaper's... What is hitting me, dog? I literally... What is hitting me? Oh, it's that dude over there. Okay. Okay. Let me go up on the cliff over here. We'll kill a few more guys, and then we'll go up on the cliff over there. This. Can I switch? Thank you. Okay, I'll take scrolls of unwritten language. Those are worth about a million apiece. Or, it saves me a million when I inevitably farm that stuff again, because I like I like fighting those bosses. I don't know. They're, they're a fun little challenge. They're not really that hard of a challenge, but they're fun to fight. And they give pretty decent rewards, so I'm always more than willing to farm that, or to fight those bosses. I don't know if I... I don't know if I like just... I could just do this ability over and over again, because it gives me enough, like, protection, because I'm moving around. Alright. Alright, man. I just want to check out my skills. Would you guys chill? Leave me alone for like half a second? Alright, what if I go right here? Am I good? I hope so. Okay, I just wanted to see what Grim Reaper's just judgment is. Eh. For five, that's not bad. And for seven, that's not bad. Hello. Hello, friend. Okay. Let me finish my skills. Um. Yeah, none. I don't really. I should probably go for this stuff. I'm gonna grab that. And that. And I'm gonna grab that. And. What is happening? There we go. Grab all that. I don't really use any of this other stuff. Dark back stuff. Does that actually do damage? Okay, I'll pick that up. Okay. Back to actually fighting. I thought I'd have a few more combat points than that. But that's alright. back over here get our health back do our little spin to win through them tech is so good for clearing these large mob groups out I'm gonna try to get better at not going to kill everything so like right here I'm gonna kill this dude in front of me and then if I could move we're out of here we're on to the next area, because there's there's only, like, three guys behind me, and it's just not... I don't think it's worth it to kill three guys. I mostly farm with my Awakening weapon. I don't know if that's the smartest thing to do. But I end up farming a lot more with my Awakening weapon than my regular weapon. My, and my amulet this is the rotation that I usually do. No one knew. 
I like to go against the grain, so when I lead enemies over with this character, I like to force them to follow me. Like, kind of. Like, so I do this. Hit them with that. And then spin back into them while they're running at you. I think that works really well. Because then you have a more long string, and I think you hit almost every enemy with that. Depending on how far you're making them run. Come back over here. Jump down the pit. Still my favorite attack on any character that I've played, other than that one stupid lawn attack that's not even attack, it's just the 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 stride, whatever it's called, the that stride where you stride through the air, I don't even remember what it's called. But other than that, other than that, that slam attack is like my absolute favorite attack on any character that I've played. And I've played a lot of the different characters in this. Alright, guys, clump up for me. Probably put back out oh, my shield. Yeah, my shield ran out. I do really like that too. If you summon that thing and then spin the wind through it, it's actually pretty decent. And see, everybody's respawned. But by, by the time you come back to do your rotation again, they're all respawned. Like I've never had the issue where they're not respawned. Spin back into them. And they're all cleaned up. It's so easy. And now that I don't, like, actually get, like, absolutely destroyed, I, um... Yeah, this rotation is actually really easy. Because if you remember, it was, like, really kind of hard because I took so much damage. I believe I did that pre-awakening, which makes it even more crazy because it was, like, terribly difficult. Hey, I need you guys to come down here. This. Back up, slam. And spin to win through them. Try to clean up the rest of these guys here. And continue our rotation. I just don't think time effective wise, right there, it's best to kill everybody because they just keep kind of funneling down there like three at a time. And I just don't think it's really worth it. Use my claws or, or my amulet. I always say claws, but well, they kind of are claws. They summon like those dark claws. I can't tell if I prefer them. I mean, the the scythe clearly is a better is better. I mean, I'm, no one's gonna argue that the scythe is not the better option for like farming enemies. But I don't know about like single DPS to one target if the scythe is better per se. I need to use that attack more. That spawns that like dark thing there that does damage. I just need to I need to work on a new rotation of, of skills. I like my rotation of skills on here, but I think it's a little bit weak on the rotation, but it's not bad. That's not what I wanted to do. I think I kind of got it figured out a little bit more. It's relatively the same, but it does it does incorporate that skill a little bit more. So we'll see. We'll try it on the rotation back. So we start. I'll, I'll go over it. So we start with the claws out. We do this ability that's not ready yet, okay? So, imagine that skill used, and we pop this. One swing into this. Spin. Spin. And then you hit him with this attack, and then it's back to your, back to the claws. I think that's the way to go. I kill stuff a little too quick to do that full rotation. But that's alright. these guys up. 
probably should probably got to shorten that rotation a little bit but i guess when you rotate back to it the one skill won't be ready yet hit him with that one spin hit him with that and then back i think that's probably the way to do it eh no i think i got it figured out i think i got it figured out let's try this kill that guy Okay, attract all you guys. Hello, everybody. Smack you. Bring you down here. Okay, so we do do this. Back dodge once. Slam. One swing into this. Spin. That attack. Switch back. Do a couple swings. Eh, it's not ready yet. That cooldown is just a little bit longer than I want it to be. Every time. Just a little bit longer than I would have liked it to be. With that. Finish them. Oh, there we go. There's our Azula's Weakened Magic Ring. Nice. That did not take too long. Uh, we've been farming, I would say, for about eh, 18 minutes. I've wasted time looking at skills and stuff like that. Can I please? Okay, game. It's not gonna let me. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't. I didn't hit any different buttons combinations that time. I don't know why I didn't want to do that. Alright, everybody. It's not too bad. So we farmed this for about 20 minutes. Got about 5%. So every hour we get about 15%. That's not too bad. We level up in a decent amount of time with double XP and everything on. I'd love to get to 57. I don't know why. 58, 57, 58. That's where I'd love to be at. I don't think it's a huge deal either way, but that's kind of where my goal lies right now on the level side of it, is to get to there. That's a... That's a Oh my gosh, that's just a cheat clapping combo right there. When you can get that orb slam down and then you get the you get that second attack off into the spin, it's just like constant damage over just like such an extended period of time. Let me put that on. Get it off. Thank you. Spin the wind through. That. I'm just trapped down here. So just spin the wind down here. They come to me. Clean them all up. Okay. Um, that guy's really weak. Let me kill them. Spin the wind to get out of here. Pop those. Alright, so I got what I wanted. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to farm this for. One of these, I think probably the next, well, I don't know, maybe not the next one. The one after will be the one where we actually are trying to farm for experience. Right now I was farming for an item. I wanted an item more than I wanted experience. Um, the experience episodes will be more uh, the longer episodes. So I might have a Bashim's episode coming up later. Not like today or anything, but in, in like a little while that... Uh, just as me power leveling for like five hours or something like that because how how much would it take me to get to 57 um if it's 15 if it's 50 or yeah if it's 15 percent an hour that would be if i did it for three hours that'd be 45 that'd give me the 60 so i have to do it for six hours i'd be a little under six hours to level up It'd be like five and five, five and two thirds. I think that would be it. I think my math is correct. It'd be like five and two thirds. Okay, ignore those guys. We will upgrade that ring in this episode before I decide to call it. I think I'll do the rotation one more time and then we'll call it. Since since I did get what I wanted, I was I was prepared to go for like 45 minutes if I didn't get what I wanted. 
I don't know exactly what I what item I want to uh, we're, we're fat we're fat again I have too much item too many items I get out of the pit I'm gonna have to like leave literally everything behind when I come here next time because I literally farmed for 20 minutes and my items are full like I guess I don't well I kind of want this much health but oh I had I got two of them I must have missed one. Oh yeah let's let's slow run everywhere now oh baby how much am I over all right, just wail on me, dude. Pop that while I'm throwing stuff away. 20. There we go. Okay. All right, you're dying now. I'm no, I'm no longer a beefy boy that can't move. Let's get up here. Is someone else here? I'm happy I'm calling this if there's someone else here because I hate... So last night I was farming on... I wasn't even farming. I was trying to complete some story stuff on on the ninja, and <laughs> I I under I needed like three kills, so I just went into an area and got three kills. But I pissed off these guys because I guess it was their farming spot, and they tried to kill me. And for I swear, no joke, we fought for like six minutes. There was three of them. Okay, no joke, three of them. They couldn't kill me on my ninja. I mean, because my ninja's like level 54, and so they're kind of low-leveled. I'm assuming they were like just leveled enough to fight in the area. And my ninja has this gear on it, so it's a little bit not your typical level 54 ninja. Because it has like the gear of two characters combined. And the point is, is that, okay, I spent like five minutes fighting them. I was clearly not going to kill all three of them. Um, because they would just run away and heal. It was really hard to focus on because we were in like a super mob density area. So I just was like, okay, well, screw this. I'm giving up because they kept slamming me into the ground. And it was just super annoying. But point is, is I decided to give up. But they decided that they were not going to give up. And they followed me all the way from Helms. Helms. All the way to Altanova. They chased me all the way to Altanova. I was like, that is some actual dedication for guys that aren't going to kill me. I didn't come close, like, at all to dying to him. It was, like, really stupid. I just couldn't kill him. But, yeah, that was an interaction that took, like, 45 minutes, and they kept following me. They never did kill me, and then they finally gave up, and I was very happy when they decided to, to wrap it up and take their L, but they couldn't kill me. It's stupid, because they got mad that I was at their farming spot. I literally killed three guys on the outskirts of a farming spot. It would be like if I came here while a group was farming and killed a guy, like, way over there. But they noticed me, and they were like, no, we're not having any of that. And then they just, they focused me down. They were, it was ridiculous. It was, like, one of the most ridiculous experiences I've ever had in a game. Because they would not give up. They were dedicated to my death, only they never did kill me. These guys are more of a challenge than they were, to be honest. Like, these guys deal a lot more damage. And it was like peewee damage. If all three of them were wailing on me at the same time, they were they were doing less damage than I could full heal with a large potion. I mean, like, it was stupid. Okay, so we'll finish this guy off. We'll jump into the pit, we'll kill those guys, and then we will, call, we will go upgrade the ring. Not gonna call it without upgrading the ring. Jump down to the pit. This is my favorite. That's one of my favorite abilities too. It's it's kind of hard to get off in the scheme of of certain fights, but I do really love that ability. I do love the I do love the size spin to win. All right, so there's that. Let's get out of here. Can I, can I get uh, get out? Switch back. Okay. I'm fat again, so we're going to slow run it all the way as I heal to try to get rid of some of these potions. 
I'm gonna have to do something about this. Because my weight limit is a tragic... Because I carry so many potions between health and mana potions, it just kind of gets a little bit ridiculous. Alright, let's climb up here so we can be safe. Okay, so now I'm hoping that I can... If I can't do this because it's I've been fighting and it's damaged... I have a feeling that's going to be the case. Nope, okay, we're good. Okay, 90% at plus 15. I will lose my mind if this doesn't work. Lose it. I will lose my mind if I fail a 90% thing. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what is that now? 7733. Three, three. Okay, not bad. Let's see, what percentage is this? 28.57. 28.57. Where is my advice of the Volks? I have a plus 10, a plus 15, and a plus 20. I'm trying to save the plus 20. So I'm going to pop the plus 15. Good thing is, is I, even if I don't like the odds percentage, I can just not upgrade and it'll save the 15. 71%. <sighs> Means every three out of four times. Okay, I'm doing it. Whatever. I have rings back at base if it fails. Uh, it looks like we're good. There we go. We got we got a duo. Now it's seven seven three still. Okay, I don't actually know what changed about this, but oh well, we'll put it on. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a duo now. I'll take it. I don't know why it's not any better. If someone knows what it does, getting this to duo, let me know because I don't actually know what that what that got what I got from that. Uh, actually, let's check one more thing before we call it an episode. Take that off. What percentage does it have? 13%. That's actually not terrible to get it to to try. That's actually not too bad. 13%. That's, that's actually pretty decent. I'm going to go farm um, at the Abandoned Iron Mines eventually here because I can get a Sula's Crimson Eye Necklaces. I don't know if I'll do it on this character or if I'll just wait till I get there on a on another character that's the appropriate level to farm that because clearly i'm not that's not where i should be farming because it's like level it's it's lower level than me and it's optimal ap is 70 to 90 i'm gonna absolutely clean house there but that's gonna do it for this one guys i hope you all enjoyed drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't let me know which format you guys would prefer these half hour segments where i do item huntings um or if you would prefer more shorter 10 to 15 minute videos of me just recapping kind of the grind spot that i was at the rotation that i ran and the items that i got or if you would like a lovely mix between the two well, that's also an option so let me know and i'll catch you guys later peace